talking about being aware and new things that are happening well the latest in the series of dog attacks we've been discussing this relentlessly on the program it is that the central government now has written to the state governments asking them to ban the import sale and breeding of certain dog breeds which are considered dangerous in india now these banned dog breeds include pitbull rottweiler terriers mastiffs etc and and a lot of their cross breeds as well actually and the department of animal husbandry and uh, dairying sent a letter to all states where now local bodies were urged to refrain from giving licenses or permits to people for the sale or breeding of these so called banned dogs what are these banned dogs they are popping up on your screen as we speak now for people who already own these banned dogs i'm sure they're very concerned the point here is that all you have to do right now is ensure that your dog is registered and you have to sterilize the dog to ensure uh and prevent any further breeding so we obviously were very concerned about what this means for people what this means for dog attacks on the whole so joining us next on the program is shohib uh, shobhit mohanty he is the founder of the pack.in shobhit has been working relentlessly for a lot of awareness on uh, dog breeding on dog attacks as well he also trains a lot of people to know how to be a good responsible dog parent and also tells them what are bad dog parenting habits a lot of which we see happening on the streets of our country so good morning shobhit thanks so much for joining us my first question really is this is Hi, just to sort of set the record straight over here by banning we don't mean that from today you can't have this dog that that's not what this means hi good morning sonal thank you so much for having me um yes so basically just to sort of unpack the messiness that has been created in the last couple of days what exactly has happened is that the uh, department of animal husbandry in india has sent a letter to all the state governments recommending that they impose a ban on 23 breeds that they have called as pernicious now this does not mean that the breeds have been banned as of today and it does not mean that anybody's dogs are going to be picked up from their homes and taken away from them i just want to clarify this because there's a lot of fear right now in a that's very important yeah that's very important yeah hmm. yes hmm. Hmm. Uh, so nobody is going to come to your house to either take away your dogs uh, what they have said is a recommendation on which the state governments and the municipalities can now act because someone higher up to them has suggested that this may be something that is needed right so the important bit here is also that a lot of people because of a new law now have to remember that regardless of these 23 breeds whatever breed of dog you might have you have to get them registered now with the government that's absolutely important and if you don't you're going to fall into trouble i'm going to request my producers to pop up some of the links where it's going to be helpful for you to go there and register your dogs in major metros we've picked up some links and we've put that up so please use those but uh, you know the question really here uh, uh, shobhit is that does this really address the issue of the dog menace as we've understood of course there are these breeds that are not meant to be domesticated and they've been talked about in uh, and why the so called ban has been imposed but the real problem is stray dogs shouldn't that be now a priority for the government to sort of address isn't that where the real problem lies we're losing lives Yes so i think there are a couple of real problems here so now i think the first real problem is in a lot of places there is a lot of illegal breeding happening which is resulting in dogs that are not healthy that are not suitable for being kept at home coming to homes because people just feel that they can make a quick buck from this illegal practice there are clear laws in the constitution and has been regularly notified by the governments but not much has been done uh that is one of the problems i think the second problem as you correctly pointed out is that there are a lot of homeless dogs there are a lot of community dogs a lot of street dogs whose issues also need to be managed uh there has been a lot of work being done on animal birth control and on community awareness but it's still not enough and more needs to be done and i think third and that is what we are primarily working on at the pack is to spread awareness and education amongst pet parents you see 70% of people in india are first time pet parents and like myself who got my first dog 6 years back 
we all struggle because we just do not know let's be honest we just do not know how to keep dogs we have never had dogs before we are doing it because we love them but honestly we don't have the skills for them so as pet parents it is on us to educate ourselves get ready before you get a dog do your research speak to the right experts get help get your dog trained because at the end of the day your dog is not just a member of your family but also an ambassador of all the dogs out there in the country and if one rottweiler bites anybody everybody gets scared of the breed so we need to do our bit as well yeah. but also the government yeah. needs to step up the government definitely needs to step up but and especially the municipalities in different states because this issue is not something that comes under the central government different uh, municipalities have to pick up and ensure that this dog menace actually comes to a halt uh, but importantly like shobhit also said and we've discussed this on the program earlier as well the issue of stray dog menace is actually coming from bad human habits feeding them when they are naturally scavengers or domesticating the right kind of dog who doesn't want to be domesticated so understanding those issues are at the center of this problem and i think that's what needs to be addressed as well uh, thanks shobit for joining us and Thank we hope uh, that people take home this message uh, that you have to be a responsible dog parent there's no harm they're lovely lovely creatures i have one but you have to be responsible you have to know how to take care of them and you have to understand importantly what they need as well